Hey guys, and welcome to this installment of Professor P's Pops. I'm your host, Professor P, and I am joined today by our friend, Mel. Hey! Now, for those of you who are unaware, last week was New York Comic Con, and of course, Funko had a whole bunch of exclusives, including that great ape Vegeta that was highly sought after. Yep. <laughs> I believe it sold out on the, the first day everywhere. Yeah, so, hot topic. Yeah, but we have our very own convention coming up in our backyard. Right? Yeah, LA Comic Con, aka Kamikaze. Are you going? Oh yes. Yeah. We will be there the entire weekend. How about yourself? I'm only going to be there on the 26th as I will be working in the Le Geek So Chic Fashion Show. So I'll be on the main stage, I'll be modeling uh, for L Hopper Design. If you haven't heard of L Hopper Design, they are an amazing geek fashion company. You can find them on Instagram at L Hopper Design. And at Comic Con, I will be modeling some of their new Star Wars fashion and I will be dressed as a version of Padme. So um, yeah, so you might see me walking around the convention dressed as a Star Wars character, or you might find me walking the main stage at 4 o'clock p.m. Yeah, so I hope to see you guys there. The Geek So Chic Fashion Show, LA Comic Con, 4 p.m. So, if you are there, be sure to stop by and say hi. And of course, there are a couple of exclusives as well. Yeah. Like that uh, Colossus from Deadpool. Yeah. But also coming up, we have a bunch of fall releases. Mm -hmm. um, we have, there's Married with Children, there's The Pretty Bunch, a whole bunch of Fortnite, oh, it's Game of Thrones. Fun. <laughs> and, uh, well, what are you most excited for, huh? Kingdom Hearts, of course. Um, I already have uh, some of them already, but I am missing, of course, the Best Buy exclusive, the GameStop exclusive, the Hot Topic one, when it comes out, all Sora's. And then, of course, you know, Vanitas, I'm really excited about him as well. Um, Keychains are coming out, pens are coming out, and, you know, there's just so much money to spend but it's fine because it's kingdom hearts and they're fungal pops and they're awesome and pop collectors are awesome okay yeah, and well the pop collectors also have a haven you could say which is somewhere that you have been to recently yes i was actually at the funko pop headquarters in everett washington want to hear about it oh yes i think we do okay so before you walk in well there's actually three buildings um, one of which is totally open to the public. I haven't been able to go to all of the buildings. I hear you actually have to make an appointment to see the rest of the headquarters, but the Funko shop is open to the public all the time. And you can literally spend hours and hours on end in that shop. I spend at least two hours in there and a hundred dollars in there per hour. True story. <laughs> so, um, when you first walk in, to your right, you'll find the anime section. There's a huge Goku and a huge Sailor Moon. Now, um, you know, there's fun huge Funko Pops surrounding the whole building, inside and outside of the building, where you can take so many photo ops. And this is why you can spend so many hours in there. Not only are there hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Funko Pops you can see and buy and wish to buy, but there are yeah. these giant ones that you can just like, you know, pose with. Um, so you walk into the anime section, you got your Naruto, you got your um, My Hero Academia, you have Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, all, all the anime you can think of, really. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> um, next to that um, is the Westmore Forest. Oh, so yes. Funko actually created their own little cute monster characters, fuzzy characters. Um, they're super cute. Um, you walk in and the room is full of lights, like blue, purple, green lights, like so ethereal. It's like you're walking into a magical rainforest. Like the magical like, Wetmore Forest. Like the actual magical Wetmore Forest. <laughs> And they actually have their own video game, and it's super cute, super fun, super chippy looking, of course. Oh wait, actually, there's a DC section as well, but you actually can go inside an actual Batmobile, interact with like a Batman, and there's a Robin coming down the fire pole, or the bat pole, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, you can take multiple photo ops, like there's endless amount of photo ops you can do. And the other side of the room, you'll find the Disney section. And basically, this whole shop is like the Disneyland for Funko Pop collectors. Yes. 
Yeah. yeah. It's, it, you know how Disney has their Fantasyland, their Tomorrowland, their Adventureland? Well, Funko is set up pretty much like that. And they also have Loungefly. They have a bunch of Loungefly. Yes. I, I, I bought this Hello Kitty Loungefly wallet. Funko just recently bought Loungefly. Yeah, they did. So you have endless amount of Loungefly, you've got uh, purses, wallets, uh, you name it. But um, like I was saying, on the other side of the room, you'll find the Disney section, and then I have uh, some pictures with some Disney princesses. There's a huge castle, there's a huge Maleficent dragon you can take a picture with, and her minions. Um, there's actually a bridge going through the castle, much like Disneyland. Um, once you go through the castle, you'll find the Marvel section. You'll find Spider-Man and the Green Goblin battling it out on like the top of the building above you. You'll find um, the Hulk and um, Hulkbuster battling it out. You'll find Thor in the ceiling, like lunging down at you. It's a very, very interactive place. Next to that is the Star Wars section, uh, where uh, of course you can take pictures of uh, Darth Vader and um, uh, Chewbacca, which is always fun. Um, next to that, you'll find the Funko Factory, where you can actually make your very own Funk Pop. You can pop yourself. You can pop yourself. Um, there's also a conveyor belt full of Freddy Funkos. Um, there's uh, crates above you full of Funko Pop body parts. It's very uh, Willy Wonka, or actually it's Melanie in the Funko Factory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. super fun. So that's always a fun thing to do. Um, and also, can't like can't forget about the Harry Potter area because that's one of my favorite places in the Funko shop. With a life size a Hagrid. Life size Hagrid. I have a picture of him. He's literally life size. And inside, you know, you'll find all the characters from Harry Potter. You name it. Uh, Dobby, uh, the Fantastic Trio, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, and you know, they don't all, only just have Funko Pops, they have the Pops, they have the T-shirts, they have the keychains, they have the, uh, the size heroes. heroes. Rock candies. Rock candies. Everything, as I am getting very excited and poking my ears out. But, um, yeah, you name it. Uh, and like I said, in the middle section, I was going to get to, they have their Funko Freddy exclusives. They have, um, you know, all the kind of, you know, how you have your uh, Scorpio, uh, Scorpio one. They have those. They have a, a bunch of Freddy Funkos. But um, the most special one is the one I got. It is a Funko Headquarter exclusive where Freddy Funko is holding the Space Needle. And I have him right here. For those who Very are geography Seattle. challenged. Everett, Washington is right outside of Seattle, yeah. right of the Space Needle. Mm -hmm. So you can only find this in the Funko Shop. As you can see, Funko HQ, exclusive, limited edition. So I bought him and I bought some other things. Uh, I did spend a lot of money there, but it's fine. I also bought um, some hoodies, one for me and some for the rest of my family. You can only find this there. It says Funko HQ Everett, Washington. Yeah! Kind of big for me now. <laughs> it's a child's extra large. Great. <laughs> but it's okay. That's why they call me the Petite Geek. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, as you see, there is something for everyone. And I mean, if you're a crazy Star Wars fan, you can always just leave the kids in Wetmore Forest and you know, go hang out just with Vader and Luke. Leave them to like add whatever toys they want. I mean, not toys, collectibles they want in their box, in their basket. You know, that's what I did. I left my family and I was like, bye. I'm buying stuff. <laughs> and well, that's, that's what it's all about going and having the fun and enjoying it. Having fun, it, so. it's totally worth it. The shop, like I said, is open to the public. So it's totally worth it to go spend hours and hours and hours on end and all the money you want. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of that money, you have, if as you, you can it. see. But anyway, that's it for this installment. Yeah. We uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If yeah. you did, please hit that like and subscribe Like and buttons. subscribe. And you know, if you want to see more pictures from the Funko Shop, add me on Instagram. I am the Petite Geek. Should be like right over here. You can find more photos, like I said. You can find some cosplays coming up. And some photos from the Le Geek So Chic Fashion Show at LA Comic Con. 
and you can catch all of our coverage of LA Comic Con and pictures of all upcoming pops at the Angel City Guys on Instagram. So be uh, sure to give us a follow. But yeah! That's it for now. On behalf of the Angel City Guys, I am Professor P, here with Mel. Catch you guys later.